Hello, my name is Dan, and I'm going to show you how I subnet by starting out with just these three numbers on a page. Um, it's very easy for me to memorize, and it's always worked, and I've always come up with the right answer, so I'm hoping that it works for you as well. Um, what I do here is I'm basically setting up the groundwork for, I'm setting up an octet, and it's going to give me all the numbers that you'll ever need to figure out and configure uh, IP addresses and subnetting for whatever questions you might be asked. Um, the groundwork is is this bottom row here is going to be our, our host number and uh, the middle number here is going to be our subnet network numbers so these are, we'll just put nets up here and this top number is going to be a, our, our, our subnet mask number and um, how you do this is you uh, it can start anywhere I want but it's easiest for me at the bottom here and I just work backwards I go from my 16 to my 8 to my 4 to my 2 to my 1 and then going the other way, I got my 32, my 64, and my 128. So I'm representing my 8 bits in my octet already. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, on my network number here, it's just the reversal. So I work backwards from the 16 to 8 to 4 and to 2. Going this way, of course, is 32, 64, 128, and 256. These numbers up here... Um, so you can do this any way you want to do it, but I just do this to kind of check my math and um, You start out up here with your subnet mask is is borrowing one bit. It'll be 128 These numbers say the same Top and bottom, but then from here you just add them 128 plus 64 is 192 Then I have to add 32 to that which would give me 224 And then my plus my 16 is my 240 which I already have I add my 8 is 248 Then I add 4 is 252 and I had two is 254 and then lastly I have uh, my one here is just 255 okay so there's my chart and this will give me everything I need to know um, let's just say uh, we know that a, um, a subnet mask for a class C is 255.255.255.0 okay and we know then that um, whenever this is labeled out like this we call this a, a class C full subnet mask and um, the whole point of subnetting is we're actually um, borrowing bits to make more or less networks or more or less hosts um, so in this case we're going to use we'll use a class C address and oftentimes what they'll give you is um, here's our number 192 168 uh, 197 and we'll make it um, 10 okay um, a lot of times what you'll see is they'll either give you a subnet mask and they'll ask you the network number the broadcast number then they want to know like how many usable hosts there are the first one the last one etc and we'll, we'll label those questions out here but either they'll give you the subnet mask or they'll give you something like this they'll give you a slash 27 okay so in this address each one of these decimal ranges is an octet so in a class C we're basically looking at this section here is our host numbers and these are our networks and uh, you'll see here the 255 255 255 that these are full so these numbers will never change now this would be represented then as a slash 24 or as we called it a full if this is a 27 we're borrowing three more bits from this octet range so we're going to go one two three and this is this is a row that we are primarily concerned with now where uh, everything else is pretty much irrelevant at this point um, right away at looking at this number i can tell you that my subnet mass now is going to be Two two, I'm sorry, two five five point two five five point two five five. Here's my number, point two two four. So if they ask you the subnet mask, we have our subnet mask. From there, they're going to want to know um, the network number for this particular number with the subnet mask, and this bottom number here. Our host number um, is referred to often, I've heard it referred to as the magic number. Now this number here, um, 
these numbers no matter what number you have here you always have to subtract two and that is because one of those IP addresses will be your network number and the other address will be your broadcast number so it's Oz minus two so it'd be 32 minus two so if, right now I can tell you that on a class C that if they ask me how many how many usable usable addresses or hosts we know that answer is 30 okay so for our network ID number in this subnet we'll put the broadcast right here too and then we'll do our first usable and our last usable address okay so our network ID is this magic back to the magic number and again what this is telling us with the subnet masking is we can have eight networks and we can have 32 addresses minus the two gives us 32 usable real quick way to do this is you just start with zero and you go in increments of 32 so 32 plus uh, 32 gives us 64 and you add a 32 again and you get 96 you add 32 128 etc 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 and what's going to happen is is eventually you're going to have all eight of your networks that'd be network one two three four five etc you'll finally get to the last number it'll allow us come out to 256 which is not a usable network number so that one that one's that's where you would stop and you'd get your eight subnets from here and note that these will always be an even number from here it's really easy you just subtract one from here so it's from 0 to 31 is my first network 32 to 63 is my second network 64 to 95 is my third etc etc you can keep going um, now what I'm looking at here is my range okay I already have my answers to my questions um, this I'm looking at this address if they would ask you um, what network is this in and then with this information you you would see that this is a 10 and that falls into this range from 0 to 31 um, so this is the network that that address is in and we really don't need to go any further at this point then um, so the address here is if as these numbers never change this last octet for the ID number we would have 192.168.197 Point zero. That would be our network ID number. Um, our broadcast number is the last number in this range. So again, these numbers don't change. 168.197.31. And then from here, it's real easy. I mean, our, my first usable address is the first one after this number. These never change. So all the way down the line here, these are going to stay the same. And my first usable is 0.1. And my last usable is one before here, which is 192.168.197.30. And that answers all the questions we need to know. And you'll see what happens What happens after a um, broadcast number 31. It jumps up to the next network, which the next network ID number would be 192.168.197.32. Network 2, network 3, network 4, network 5. And this pattern just keeps repeating. So as as you can see, we can figure everything out by the chart up here. Um, I hope that was simple for you. I hope it's easy. There's uh, You don't have to write out any ones or zeros. Um, there's very little math involved. And uh, if you already know how to somewhat do this, it's a very useful tool just to be able to write out quickly and, and uh, come up with the answers that most often you will be asked. All right, this is Dan signing out. God bless you. Take care. And good luck to you.